Welcome back, boys and girls. It's Forty, and here we are. We're back on. This is gonna be part three. Part three. We have just got out of town. We helped Ark a little bit. That guy. What a chap. Uh, we spoke to some old people. We hung out a little bit. We got some new items. We went and checked out some stuff. We got some free loot. Definitely worthwhile to take a look at the video before if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Uh, we are on our way to Kazus. I, I we believe Ark ran off to there and some old man told us to go. So that's where we're heading. And uh, if you're curious, I don't know, that might be the town, but what's up here? What is up here? Curiosity has me. Primitive strike. Oh, that means I attack first? I do? So I got the, the jump on these guys. Holy moly. Uh, oh wow, how much are they gonna hit me for? Six. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't go down this way. This might be a bad idea altogether. I have a feeling that werewolf could have smacked daddy me really hard. Uh, I'm not sure. 26, 24 experience. Gained a level. Uh, job level increased as well. Great. Uh, should I continue up this way? Uh, I'm scared. I should probably go back. Oh, should probably go back. How bad is this? One. Okay, that's not that bad. Maybe I just got... <clears throat> I got that wolf and that bee. That was a little bit different. Oh, let's just keep going. Alright. Cool. Lunith. I can't wait to have more than one party member. Maybe I should do that. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back down to this town. I'm gonna assume that's the town we're going to. It looks like to be the first thing. Let's fight something in the sand. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Uh, this might have been a bad idea. Uh, okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> I thought... I was gonna say, like, if they're hitting me for nine... This would have sucked a lot. Okay, so for whatever reason, that other guy didn't die right away. Okay, that's scary. Alright, Luna's job level has increased. Nice. Wow, I'm leveling up like a madman. What, what level is it? Is level 4. Uh, formation status. Uh, Lunith is level 4. Uh, job level 12. So Freelancer is level 12. Um, strength and attack 22. That's cool. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I guess, is this Kazus? Oh, cool. So we are at Kazus. Um... Anything over here? I always have to think about if they're hiding anything. So there's Ark. Hey, buddy. Ah, boo! <laughs> Just kidding. Let's see what he's up to. Ain't good looking. You got a bow in the back of your waist. Not sure. Book! <laughs> he's got scared him. Ark, it's me, Lunith. Don't be afraid. <laughs> oh, he got him so good. Why did you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove, anyways? <clears throat> Let me go with you, Lunith. Go where? Oh, I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I did manage to come here all by myself. You'll take me with you, Lunith, won't you? All right, you big baby. Let me think about it with my giant red, uh, my purple, pur uh, purple turtleneck sweater. All right, if that's what you want. Cool. Art has joined your party. Great. I wonder if he knows double cast already. Hmm. Double cast meteor. If only. If only we could make a, a thing about you get out of this. All right, here we go. Uh, I guess this is a town that's just made of ghosts. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that's right. I remember this a little bit. Uh, the Jin's curse turned me into a ghost. Am I going to die like this, or am I already dead? Doom, despair. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh me, oh my. Do you have any loot in here? Did you steal anything from you? You're useless. Got anything? Anything in the pots? Nothing in the pots? Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to help you, you crazy bum. Um, none of these things have anything in them. All right. Well, I mean, we have to kind of look around and talk to everybody. Hey, what's this dude up to? I can't do business when I'm a ghost. Touche, friend. Touche. Do you have anything up here? No, you don't have anything either. All right. So that guy had nothing. That was a waste. Hey, into the magic shop. <laughs> Even Vivi's turned into it. This is great. I feel so empty. Curse that gin. Cross that's gin. All right, cool. Um, what? What? All right, let's go into this house. What's this house packing? Oh, hey. You know those rebels were beating on me, so we're gonna 
take advantage of this. Uh, nothing in those pots. Anything in this pot? Nothing in the pot? Alright. Cool. Off we go to the next uh, house. We're at the inn. Alright, what do you got? Uh, only the power of the mithril, uh, mithril can banish the djinn. Uh, this is, that is why the djinn cursed this town once it found out how the nearby mines were packed with that stuff. Okay, with this, that stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Okay, so this is the quest. Howdy there. Since the name. Oh, hello. I'm from Canaan, uh, Canaan, I guess, Canaan. But I've been stuck here ever since uh, Nelvi Village got blocked by a giant rock. Cool. On top of that, I got a, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folks. Ain't that a trip and a half? <laughs> oh, said you crazy bum. Lunith, we have to do something to help those people. Yes, we do. Say, if I lent you my airship, do you lads think you could help me and these other chaps or other saps? From what I hear, this curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we all seem to be out of mithril rings here. It's kind of silly that they're out of rings considering that they got mines right there that they can get tons of this stuff. Alright. Even if you could get the mithril, uh, mithril Taka, the smith, has, uh, has been turned into a ghost himself. And his daughter, the apprentice, has gone missing. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to lift this curse. Keep in mind, you can get on or off the airship by pressing return. Thank you. The same goes for all other vehicles too. You got that? Sure. I presume we're going to be using multiple vehicles for this adventure. If only we had the mithril ring that the blacksmith had forged. It is the only thing that may banish the djinn. All right. Uh, the djinn that we had banished into the sealed cave was released by the earthquake and cast a curse on us. Well, of course, you pissed them off. You had them locked away in a cave. Poor chap, we need to talk to the djinn. Maybe, maybe forge a bond between the djinn, because he seems powerful. I wonder where the smith's daughter has gone. I remember her complaining about her training and not wanting to follow in her father's footsteps. I wonder if she has a mithril ring in her possession. Maybe. If she doesn't like... So you can... Rest here? No. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Who could this? Who could this lady be? All right. So we're done here. <clears throat> All right. So we got one more house up here. Anything over here? Ooh, there's a little path over there. Did we miss something? Oh, oh hello. We could go up here. Is it really? We just. Went all the way here. No, to find oh. 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 Really? Is there something here? Oh, I can't zoom in. Really? Did, did I just travel all this way through all this like tricky stuff to find nothing? Hmm. That was weird. All right. Where am I now? Okay. There I am. Okay. Can we go this way? No, we can't. All right. That's cool. Alright, I have a feeling that there might be something here later. Something or rather, but uh, that's the best we can do. We just came out of the inn. There's nothing over here. Let's get into this big boy house. Oh, is this the blacksmith? Taka! <laughs> I was. What? How many times do I have to say it? No, I don't have any mithril rings. That was worth, uh, worth a shot. I want to get rid of this curse as much as you, but how am I to temper uh, mithril as a ghost? Teach me. If I... Even if I weren't cursed, I couldn't work unless I knew my daughter was safe. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have been so harsh in training her. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. Shining stuff. Hell yeah. Potion. Nothing powerful that can help me destroy monsters in one shot? That's too bad. Okay. Oh, hello. I guess that's the cave. Can we go in there? Oh, we can go in there. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. Should I be in here? Should I be in here? Um, should I be in here is the question. Please don't one-shot me. Magic. Oh no, you don't even know anything. You're useless. Uh, yikes. <clears throat> uh, can we run? Rear? Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh no! Uh, whoops. Um, 
We can guard, we have an item, we can equip. Weird, I don't know what that means. Uh, it means I guess it means move back. <clears throat> Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna be uh, going well. The party has been defeated. All right, well we shouldn't have gone in there in the first place. Ooh. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yep. Oh wow, level fourteen or level seventeen? Sorry. Wow, we lost a bunch of levels. All right, so now we know what's going on. Wow, that was rough. <clears throat> yes. So since we already died and we know what's going on here. Uh, let's not go into the mines, because we are not ready for the mines. Okay. Oh, oh no! Ah, oh, we scared him. Okay, well, we already read everything, so we're not going to read this again. And we don't have to talk to all those clunks, because we already talked to everybody. So we're just going to get right to the point. <clears throat> we got to get to the... Whoops. We got to get to the... The blacksmith. Talk to the blacksmith. And then, that's that. Actually, since we have Ark now this time, might be a good idea to equip them with something. Uh, that's the one. Um, m -m 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 equipment first, Ark. Knife, staff. Uh, longsword, does more damage. I don't really know if I want to give him anything other. Eh, knife, I guess, or dagger, whatever. I'll give him a shield. He seems like a big baby. Dang it. Okay. That's cool. Now I gotta go for magic. Can we give him any magic? Can we learn anything? Whoops. Learn. He can learn Poisana. Guess we can give that to him and then magic. Remove sleep. I think it'll be useful on <laughs> more useful on the mage. Black sleep. Uh, sleep, black magic, formation. Okay, that's what I want. I want him to be in the back, because he's not going to be meleeing. Uh, this is the end. Uh, oh yeah, we have to talk to Sid first. That's right. Here's Sid. So we're just going to skip through all of this real quick. And then go to our friend. And then do that. I think as well, what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a few battles outside. Uh, because I think what I... Uh, the reason why is because let's put that potion first uh, is because I think maybe picking up a few levels might be helpful for us because yeah I don't really know <laughs> it doesn't give you a warning and says like oh don't go inside the cave because the cave might mess you up so here's the airship there is who's this what who are you? What are you doing here? Lunith. I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship and he's letting us use it. Oh my god. R my girl Refia. Yo. Raised in Kazus by the mithril smith Taka. Whose rigorous training led her to run away from home again. So she didn't really go far. She went to Sid, Sid's uh, airship. Cool. I'm Refia. And I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts of this ship back in Kazus. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter, you have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, that's the only uh, way we'll be able to lift the curse of Kaz on Kazus. I... I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I, I didn't study too far. I didn't want to. <laughs> Swell. I, I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Wait, I know where you can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King uh, Susan? Sasun? Sosun? Sasun? A long time ago. He should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make a mithril ring. Uh, can't, I can't make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazus. Sure. I think she should come with us, Lunith. I think so too. A healer would be nice. Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that luck might rub off on us. <laughs> That's not funny. Sweet. We got a party of three. Damage dealer, healer, and a black mage. A black mage. So if we go here, all aboard. So there's our airship. I guess the controls are gonna be the same. So we're just gonna fly over things. Oh yeah, look at this. This is cool. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is, I think it's returned perfect, so that's how it goes, great. Uh, as, as promised, we are going to do a few levels. Oh, hey, buddy. We're gonna do a few levels, Berserker. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, golly. Missed. Attack. Six. Okay, good. So, um, we're gonna do a little bit of this, probably for the next two or three minutes. We're just gonna farm a little bit of... Wow, four experience. I guess that's... Four experience. I guess that's because the party's so big. Alright. Oh, that guy was really weak. One shot? No. Oh, yep. It's so one shot. 21 damage on the healer. Girl. <laughs> Baby girl. She's smack daddy. 24 gil, 8 experience. Luna's leveled up. Luna's job level has increased. Cool. Um, so, I, the castle there. Is that the castle we're supposed to go to? Why would we need the airship for that? Oof. Whoa! He smacked daddy at me good. Ouch, that hurt. Ah. Uh, oh, there's a rock that we're talking about. Uh, let me see if... Yes, this is what I was thinking. Alright, we're gonna go and maybe give Refia some stuff too. Refia. Staff. Knife. Can she tool wield too? Oh, crap, eh? They can all dual wield. Alright, so I guess you learn something new every day. So we're actually gonna remove that from you. And uh, we're gonna magic. We're gonna learn cure. Great. Now we're talking business, because she's my healer. Let's fight a few more monsters, level up, and then, uh, then we'll figure things out. We'll probably start off hunting the next part of the story uh, in the next part of the video, but we're going to farm a little bit. Now I want to record everything, so doing the leveling and any of those things like that will be done here. Oh man, please don't die, Lunith, you bum. B, what are you going to do? Okay, good. This is my chance to kind of test this out. So Lunith will attack. Arc will attack. And you... Look at that. Okay, so that's you pick. Cool. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we're not gonna get the healing. That's too bad. Eight experience. Cool. Actually, can we heal it from outside? Uh, here. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. That, that escape. I'm gonna cut my my index finger off. That keeps going up there. All right, that's cool. Let's go, like, two more fights, and then we'll call this uh, a video, and then we'll meet up in the next part of the video where we're going to continue going around with our airship to go and find this king that has the mithril ring. Try and lift this curse, but I definitely want to get stronger. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to get stronger. I think about it, I should have probably, while I only had Lunith, I should have done a little bit more experience grinding. To get him a little bit stronger but then again like i said at the start of this series i haven't played this game in a very very long time so i don't i don't i don't recall the whole premise behind it i know there's some curses and some stuff but i don't remember when you gain characters and that your characters shared experience amongst them and and that the mithril cave is a bust don't go to the cave or you're gonna get spanked you're gonna get the vorty spank you get the level of <laughs> spanking of the board he got, he got owned. That, those skeletons, man. Man. Alright, one more fight. We'll go... Perfect. There you go. Alright. So, we're gonna end on a save together so you guys know that's how far we got. And then we'll figure, figure things out from there. This is gonna be a long series. Oh, man. I think about it, man. It's gonna be very, very long because we are... Only like maybe 30 minutes into it and it's like three videos. <laughs> That's okay. I think this is fun. I like this. This is gonna be great. We'll pump out a bunch of videos out there for you guys so you can watch the series. Oh wait, I said I'm gonna only do one. Okay, that's good. Tab. 
we're gonna go to the save slot one we are saving so there we go we are job level 12 job level one and job level two wow they are slacking all right so if you like the series please like the videos that you're watching if you got any comments please leave the comments down in the section below and uh, stick around for future content this series will continue for a long time coming so i'm hoping you guys enjoyed it as i absolutely love the fact that i'm playing uh, final fantasy again from the start to the end so this is gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun i'm excited all right this is vorty and i'm glad you stuck around with me for this episode i will see you in the next one i am out of here peace